I'm Insomniac, and today we're going to review some espresso. Okay, so here we have some Italian espresso. Oh! Actually made in Italy, at least that's what the can says, and yes, it is in a metal can. 100% Arabica, it says, made in Italy. I fucking love Italy, you know what I'm saying? It did have a seal, but I already peeled that off because I tried this the other night. Ooh. You get some really strong and really strange aromas out of this can. At first whiff, it just has a nice strong coffee scent, but then when you really zoom in on what you're smelling, it's not exactly a coffee scent. I'm confused. It's a big mix of smoked wood, cooked carrots, and the best way I can describe the last scent is beef stew. Beef stew reminds me of you. But somehow when you put all of that together, it just gives you a big strong coffee aroma. So it's not like it's gross or anything, it's just really interesting. Well anyway, screw smell in the can, let's brew some of this up and see what it tastes like. Who are you? Alright, so in terms of aromas, the first scent that I get reminds me of like roasted red beans. Then there's a good kind of smoky earth and a little bit of a dark chocolate. Overall, it's a really smooth, pleasant aroma overall. Really like that. Well, let's see what it tastes like. The first flavor that I get is actually a strong reminder of like a blonde ale. And yes, I'm talking about beer. That's a good fucking beer. That's interesting, but very good. Then there's lots of earth, a little bit of a kind of complex dark chocolate in there, uh, tangled up with the earth, and then the finish has a little bit of that red bean thing that I, I was getting as a scent. There's a little bit of that kind of roasted red bean flavor as the finish, it kind of uh, wraps it all up. That is really interesting. Really interesting and really delicious. This is excellent. One great thing about this espresso is the fact that, as you saw, I just put the espresso in a very standard espresso maker, brewed it up, and there is no bitterness. It's very palatable, very smooth, very easy to drink, very enjoyable, and it doesn't really give you the impression of being overly bold or overly strong. Also, as a side note from experience, I have actually had this a couple of times before the review, because uh, I wanted to give it a shot. And I understand that I'm addicted to uh, caffeine to the extent that it probably doesn't affect me very much, but I've had this espresso a couple of times and then went to bed an hour later, so it's not the type of espresso that's gonna have you jumping off the ceiling. This is the type of really good, really enjoyable after dinner or midday espresso that you can just have just to enjoy. Or if you're a cigar guy like myself, something that would be really nice with a good smooth smoke. Definitely just a good, well-rounded overall espresso. I really like this. So if you like an espresso that is flavorful and interesting and has good complexity, something that's not just take a shot of that gasoline and off you go, I think this is something that you would really enjoy. And again, like I said, it's not harsh or bitter. In fact, even the aftertaste, there is no lingering bitterness or any type of thick, heavy flavors or grit that gets left over. It's just really smooth, really balanced. The long story short here is if you're looking for an interesting espresso, this is definitely something that you'll really like. If I had to rate this on a scale from 1 to 10 Mike Tyson's, I would give it uh, an 8. Really like it. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. Definitely make sure you go down below and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Leave a comment, let me know if you've had this espresso and what you think of it, or tell me about your favorite espresso, maybe I'll review it on the channel. If you want to support this channel and you want access to all of my full cigar reviews and watch reviews, you're going to need to go down below to the link at the top of the video description. Hit the Patreon page, sign up over there. That also automatically enters you into my monthly giveaway where I will give you your choice of espresso or coffee or cigars, your choice. And a big shout out to Nathan Stewart for sending this in, as always, awesome, and I will see you all next time.